I'm afraid that the bill that was passed yesterday, uh, alas, really makes it much more difficult for us to, to negotiate. And what it says, it actually draws up a... It, uh, it, they, the, the MPs wrote a letter that the, M, the, the, part, the Prime Minister would have to give to Brussels, demanding an extension beyond October the 31st. And then Brussels, the EU, would decide how long the UK was going to remain in the EU. And with the best will in the world, I cannot see how that is democratic unless that is put to the British people. I think if that is really the, uh, what Parliament wants, to give the EU this power to keep us in the, in the EU themselves the, and to, to scupper the negotiations, then I think there should be a clear choice for the country. And we should decide who do you want to be at that crucial summit on October the 17th. Uh, do you want Jeremy Corbyn going there uh, with his plan to extend and delay and keep us, uh, keep us in the EU uh, forever and a day? Or, or, or do you want to settle this thing, bring us all together and deliver on the mandate of the people? And that is what, that is what I will do. Uh, the, I, if I understood it correctly, you just said that the, the leader of the opposition says he cannot trust us, trust me, to hold an election before the Brexit. Right. Well, I, I, I said about five times in Parliament, times I have to say it. Uh, we want an election on October the 15th. October the 15th. And, and uh, indeed, you know, earlier if he wants. Uh, let, let's crack on with it. I really don't see how we can have a situation in which uh, the British ability to negotiate is absolutely torpedoed by uh, Parliament in this way, uh, with powers of the British people handed over to Brussels so that we can be kept incarcerated in the EU without that actually being put to the people in the form of a, of a, of a vote. And, you know, time and time again, uh, Jeremy Corbyn, don't worry, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end very soon. Uh, You're right. Oh, that's right. I'm so, I'm so sorry. Okay, I just I think I, I think that's a, that's a, that is a signal for me actively to wind up. Okay, <laughs> time and time again, uh, Jeremy Corbyn has said he wants a, a vote, and you know he said he said he wants an election, and he, here he is. He's got an election uh, absolutely being offered to him, and he, and for reasons I don't quite follow, he seems to be opting out. I leave you to I leave you to speculate as to why he may be. Uh, reluctant to to do it, but it seems to me if he if he, if he wants to avoid a, a you know a no deal Brexit, or if he wants to avoid a, a, a hard Brexit, then he should believe in himself uh, to go to, to to Brussels on that crucial summit on October the seventeenth and sort it out. That seems to me to be the obvious thing. But I think what we should do is have an election and decide who goes to get there. Okay, folks, thank you all very very much, and uh, thank you all for listening so patiently for so long. Congratulations to all of you on what you are doing and thank you very much for all that, the, that you are going to do to all the risks that you're going to take uh, running towards danger rather than away from it to make our country and our society safer. Thank you very much. Thank you.